In 1950, Anthony Mann, another director who mainly had experience with film noir, would begin a long collaborative relationship with James Stewart. Winchester 73 was the second of three westerns Mann would direct in 1950, and the first of five westerns he would make with Stewart. It tells the story of Lynn McAdam, played by Stewart, a drifter out to avenge the murder of his father. The titular rifle is used as a framing device. When in a contest by McAdam at the beginning of the film, it changes hands throughout. Rounding out the cast are Millard Mitchell as McAdam's friend, High Spade Frankie Wilson, Shelley Winters as the saloon girl and love interest Lola, Stephen McNally as McAdams' quarry, and Dan DeRay, who puts in a memorable performance as the sadistic Waco Johnny Dean. Uh, clean it up. Clean it up. The filmmaker had a penchant for well-staged action, and was known for his just exposition of man and nature. Both of these traits are fully on display in the film's climax, as Stewart and McNally face off on a rocky cliff. You got yourself in trouble again. I can smoke you out of there easy. Mann and Stewart would go on to make four more westerns together, Bend of the River, The Naked Spur, The Far Country, and The Man from Laramie. A sixth film, Night Passage, was set to be directed by Mann when he backed out after a disagreement with Stewart. 